am so excited. We have a brand new resource that we just released and it is for Holy Week for children. It could be preschool, elementary, or preteen, which um, goes into middle school age. I'm really, really excited about this and I can't wait to show you. So let's get started. Hi friends, I'm Miss Nancy Bruce. And I'm Mr. Roger. We want to see kids living for Jesus. Um, let me see. I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see it too. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, I think. So here we go. Um, it's called Unexpected Holy Week Lessons for Children. And this is the cover. You'll find it in our store or in our vendor booth. Um, this is, oh, I need to add a table of contents. I will do that. So this spans from Palm Sunday all the way through Resurrection Sunday. Um, it, each lesson is about 30 to 60 minutes, as you can see here. Um, depends on the number of kids that you have in the ages. This is designed to be multiple ages altogether, but you can do it for one specific age or one child even if you wanted to. Um, each one, each lesson is the teaching of the objective, um, biblical text. This is nice because then you can bookmark them if you're pressed for time. Um, supplies needed, um, and then optional time savers and helps. Now I want to show you what's in each of these lessons. Each one has an introduction to kind of get our minds thinking the right direction. There's an optional activity for younger children. Um, then each lesson has a Bible study. So um, this particular one, they're acting out, but not all of them are acting out ones, um, but they do have a Bible lesson each time. This is a long script, there we go. All right, then you have an optional deeper study for older children and teenagers. This is really cool. If you have kids in this age category, I encourage you to try to um, incorporate this. If you have at least two leaders in the room, it could be two parents, it could be um, two Sunday school teachers, um, you might break off the kids and while the younger, um, do the younger activity here and then take the younger kids and do the younger activity and the older kids and teenagers and um, do this di optional deeper study and then come back together for the rest of this lesson. I think that would work really well. Um, so then we have that uh, application. Um, what's <laughs> I'm going to get on the soapbox really quickly. So um, when we are studying the Bible. It's not enough to just know what the Bible says and to learn it and be able to explain it and that kind of thing. God's word isn't just to give us knowledge. It's to give us wisdom, which is put it into practice. Um, that verse in James, I think it's 122, says, don't just hear the word, but do what it says. So the application is really important. Please don't skip that in any lesson that you do, any Bible lesson. Okay, let's look back. So we have five, um, applications here. There's also discussion questions. Um, this is partly to see how well kids were listening, but also a bit application element too, and to try to get them to think a little bit. Um, then there's a brief closing and it ends in prayer. Um, some of the topics include, and that's, and that's the pattern that is followed for each of the lessons from Palm Sunday all the way through Resurrection Sunday. Um, some of the topics that are included, I just briefly flipped through there to look. We've got, um, you just saw the Palm Sunday we're acting out and the goal of that is to be able to act it out and explain what happened on Palm Sunday when Jesus entered Jerusalem. Um, some other topics in here um, talks about discipleship and how to have a deeper relationship with Christ or to start one if a children have not accepted Christ yet as their Lord and Savior. Um, also included in here are discussions about sin, um, discussions about um, ways people think you get to heaven but don't really get you to heaven, how Jesus is the only way. Uh, we talk about, of course, the crucifixion. Um, what's nice about that lesson is even though we're talking about the crucifixion, um, I have another soapbox and I will link to the reason why in the um, comments below. But it's really important when you teach about the crucifixion and the death of Jesus, never, 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 never leave Jesus in the tomb. Um, and like I said, I'll post, there's, there's a good reason why, and I'll post the link to that story below. Um, but keep that in mind, please. Um, so we talk about the crucifixion and we remind kids that the story's not over yet. Um, then we also talk about the resurrection. This is the cool part. This is the apologetics part of this um, curriculum. It talks about some reasons why we know that Jesus really rose from the dead and evidence of that resurrection. So that's pretty cool. So again, this is eight lessons that all come together. Um, and I'm going to scroll back up here to the um, title page so that you can see it and find it easily. Um, if you have further questions, make sure you put them in the comments below. We're very excited about this. And um, some of you got a chance to preview it. Um, I sent it out to a few people um, for free to preview it last year. And so if you are a member of our E-Team, then you get a chance to free um, 
preview materials free um, and other kinds of things, other perks like that. And so um, the link for how to join that will also be in the description below. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining me. And if I don't see you, he is risen. He is risen indeed. If you found this video helpful, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more videos. Why not try this one next? Check out related resources in the description below. Also, if you'd like to receive emails from Parent Road Ministries, text the word Jesus to 415-528-7403. See you next time.